Okay, so regarding the after school reading program that we've been funding for a while, I've had a lot of parents be concerned that this funding we've been sending towards the program is just going to waste. So I have come up with an experiment I would like us to conduct to find out whether we think this program has been successful or not and whether we want to keep funding it. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, assess how well the students are doing in the after school reading program and if it's really helping their grades sufficient or their reading, their reading efficiently enough to have us keep funding the program. So the study I propose that we do is an experiment with a control and an experimental group. The control being the students who are not in the after school program and the experiment group being those who are. And we'll just know this by the names who are enrolled in the after school program who regularly show up. Um, with this study, I would like it to be double blind, which I will talk about in a moment. So the variables we'll be looking at in the student's reading are the speed, fluency, accuracy, and ability to comprehend after they're finished reading what they've read. Um, the intervening variables that we need to be careful of, however, are making sure that we're only testing the student's ability to read. We don't want other things like focus to come into this um, study on accident. For example, if a child is having a hard time focusing just because they're children and sometimes they can't sit down for long periods of time or maybe they didn't get enough sleep the night before, we don't want that to affect them. Also, um, just because a student isn't in our after school program doesn't mean they're not in some sort of after or some sort of reading program at all. Um, they could have a private tutor, maybe their parents are working twice as hard as normal to help them with their reading or a lot of other things. Um, we need to be careful of biases that could come into our experiment, which is why I proposed in the beginning that this experiment be triple blind uh, instead of double blind. So I believe that the students being tested, the parents of those students, um, the teachers, uh, the TAs administering the tests all be not aware that this experiment is going on. Um, the reason I think that this would be the best is because if anyone knows about the experiment going on, whether they mean to or not, they might push the student harder or the student might be nervous or push themselves harder to be a better reader. And we strictly want to see how this program has been helping us without this push of the experiment. Uh, this is also why I propose that any students whose parents are on the PTA board, mine included, are not involved in this experiment at all. They will continue to do their reading programs in school as normal and have their reading tested, but when we're doing the research, we will eliminate their uh, reading scores from the after school or not after school programs. Alright, so the insights I've had in doing this assignment have been really good. I thought it was kind of a weird um, assignment at first, but I think after having to think of this real world application um, and just applying the things we've learned, having a greater understanding of okay, what's a bias, what is an intervening variable, what are the different methods of study, and then having to go through each of those and finding like which study would be best for this um, exact situation and what would be a bias for this situation and what would be an intervening variable. Um, I think having to do that just kind of solidified everything that we've learned for me and I don't know, I think I really enjoyed it and I feel like I have a lot better of an understanding of the methods of psychology research now.